Hey guys, it's Tori and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be doing a video all about books for beginners. So I have a stack of romance and fantasy books. I picked books that I personally love and I also felt like would be easy for people who are trying to get into reading to start off with. There's a lot of books that I love that I did not feature in this video, but I do have a video that I posted recently about all of my all-time favorite series. So if you want a little bit more like, I wouldn't say difficult, but intermediate level reading, go check out that video because I talked about so many amazing series that I love so much. But today we're just going to be kind of sticking with the basics a little bit more. So we have a stack of romance, a stack of fantasy. We will go through all of them. So this is basically the how-to guide on beginner readers. So if you're trying to be a bookish girly like all of us around book talk, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to my face. Check out all my socials down below and let me show you book recs for beginner readers. All right, we are going to start with romance. I have a little stack here. I have a lot more fantasy, but I have become a bit of a fantasy girly here the last few months. So I figured we'd start with romance. I have two YA romance books. If you don't know what YA means, it is young adult. So it is more of like, you're like preteen slash teenagers. There's not any like bad words really. There's no like intimacy, stuff like that. You know, a little more closed door. So these are two that I personally absolutely love. So first we have Better Than the Movies by Lynn Painter. This is such a cute little YA rom-com. This is about Liz and Wes. Liz basically has this crush on this guy and she wants him to go to prom with her and Wes is her like next door neighbor nemesis kind of and they have like this competition between each other all the time of who can get the better parking spot in their neighborhood but Wes is basically friends with the guy that Liz has a crush on and she asks him if he will help her get this guy to like her. They go through a bunch of tasks and things to make her just seem more irresistible. And along the way, they catch some feelings. Also, Liz loves like rom-com movies. And so there are so many cute rom-com quotes at the beginning of each of the chapters in here. I love this book so, so, so much. It's literally so cute. Highly recommend. I gave this five stars and then there is a sequel coming out in either September or October of this year that I am so excited about. So I highly recommend Better Than The Movies. Our next YA romance is The Summer of Broken Rules. This is so good. I think I read it on my Kindle. I believe it is on Kindle Unlimited, but I literally loved this so much. This is about Meredith and her sister passed away and her family has a wedding coming up and she's going to go visit her like family's like lake house camping area for the first time since her sister passed away and she meets this guy and they decide to form an alliance between each other because every single year Meredith's family plays a game of assassin and it's super super cute I literally loved this so much I highly recommend super super good little like spring summer little romance it's super cute and there are some swifty references in here as well if you're a swifty like your girl over here is i have four adult romances to speak about so the first one is the seven year slip by ashley poston this is so good i literally read this in like a day and i gave it like four and a half stars this is about Clementine and she was super, super close with her aunt and they had like a very close relationship, but her aunt passes away. And so Clementine ends up getting her aunt's apartment in like her will when she passes away. So Clementine goes and stays in this apartment and her aunt had always told her that there was something magical about this said apartment. And basically Clementine meets somebody and he is literally so cute so sweet literally love him so much and i don't want to spoil anything else but i loved this it's so cute it's so sweet the quotes in here literally love them so much i definitely want to reread this at some point 
but I highly recommend it's so cute so sweet such a good read next is yours truly by Abby Jimenez I literally loved this so much so this is about Brianna and she is a doctor at a hospital and there is a new doctor at the hospital and nobody seems to like him everybody thinks he's just rude and very standoffish and nobody seems to like him but everybody loves Brianna and so basically Brianna decides to try to be nice to Jacob which is the new doctor in town and they end up sparking up a deal and fake dating each other so good he has severe anxiety and so there's very amazing anxiety representation in this book i literally loved this so much it's so good it's so sweet they like write letters back and forth to each other it's literally so cute literally love it highly recommend this next one is a good beginner book for those of you who might like something a little more spicy so that is icebreaker by hannah grace this is a part of a series so basically this is a hockey player ice skater enemies to lovers enemies to lovers romance anastasia is the like main ice skater there and then nathan is the captain of the hockey team something happens and nathan and his team can no longer practice or play on their own ice skating rink because it gets like destroyed and so they have to share with the ice skaters and Anastasia is very sassy and she does not like that and he is literally so golden retriever she is black cat it's super cute super sweet he helps her through a lot of actual like personal problems I love this so much it's a little more steamy as well if you like a little bit more of the intimacy scenes this has that for you I highly recommend it's super cute super good and the rest of the series is also super good the third book in this series comes out in I think June or July and I'm very excited about it so I highly recommend Icebreaker my last romance recommendation is my favorite romance I'm mentioning today and that is Happy Place by Emily Henry this book literally changed my life and my perspective on things i love this with my whole entire being emily henry writes amazing beautiful books super good for beginners it's more almost like woman's fiction leaning into romance in my personal opinion this one is about harriet and win and basically they are going on this trip with their friends and they used to be engaged they were together for a very very long time but they broke up and they decided not to tell any of their friends and so while they are on this trip with their friend group they fake date each other and act like they are still together because they don't want anybody to know that they broke up it's like a second chance romance it's past and present perspective it flips between his and her point of view I loved this. This was so good. I am actually planning on rereading it this month because I loved it that much. So I literally highly recommend. This is so good. So good. Her brand new book, Funny Story, comes out in like two weeks and I cannot wait to get my hands on it. I highly recommend Emily Henry to any beginner reader. Okay, we are now going to hop into fantasy. Fantasy is more like hunger games divergent type of vibes twilight you know what i mean like it's like mystical fake worlds that are made up and there's like mystical creatures and sometimes there's powers involved and stuff like that so i have a good stack these are all ya except for i think one um i feel like once you start to get into adult fantasy it gets a little more confusing so i figured we would stick with the ya genre and we we'll just hop right in so to start i want to give a huge shout out to the once upon a broken heart trilogy this is probably some of the simplest fantasy i feel like anybody could read this is super ya this is literally like fairy tale-esque literally it's like once upon a time in a land far far away type vibes it's just so cute so sweet these are the uk editions by the way so if you buy them from like barnes and noble or something they won't look like this but basically these are about evangeline and she thinks she found her one true love and so when she finds out that her one true love is getting married to somebody else she decides to go to one of the fates the fates are kind of like gods almost and she goes to the fate of broken heart or the prince of hearts and she basically asks him to break up her love's 
wedding. And so he does so. His name's Jax. We love Jax. But Jax ends up postponing this wedding for Evangeline and he does it in a way that she did not want. Basically, you have to like say exactly how you want things done, not just please do this for me. Like there's like stipulations and stuff. But when you make a deal with the fates, you always have like a price to pay. So Evangeline owes Jax three kisses of his choice whenever he asks for them with whoever he tells her to do it with. And so he breaks up the wedding for her and it just causes this huge uproar and it's, it's literally so good. There's like a lot of adventure, there is cute romance scenes, it's enemies to lovers, literally so good. Highly recommend. These are amazing such a good start for anybody who's never really read fantasy before this is the perfect place to start and stephanie garber also has another trilogy called the caraval trilogy i have not started that trilogy yet but i definitely plan on it because i loved these so much but highly 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 recommend this next one is one of my favorites that we're going to be talking about today and that is powerless by lauren roberts i love this book the banter out of this world literally out of this world like obsessed this is about kai and payden payden is an ordinary and kai is an elite so basically elites are like these people with powers and the king of their kingdom has tried to kill all ordinaries because he only wants elites in his kingdom living around him because there is this opinion that ordinaries take away powers from the elites type of thing they have like a sickness or something like that. So Payton is lying to everybody and she is like disguised as an elite. She says that she is like a psychic and one day Prince Kai comes into town and something bad happens and so Payton comes in and tries to save him and as a reward the king puts her into these trials. The trials are this kind of like a hunger games where a bunch of the best elites who are like voted on by the public all compete against each other to try to win and i don't exactly remember what you win but it's like this big deal type of thing and so kai and payden go against each other in these trials and there's a bunch of powers and enemies to lovers and the banter is unmatched i loved this so much the novella comes out in april i cannot wait and then the second novel comes out in june or july but i actually am meeting lauren roberts in may for a book signing for her new novella powerful i'm so beyond excited so i highly 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 recommend and i don't even think i did it enough justice trying to explain the plot of this book but i highly recommend it's literally so good next we have divine rivals by rebecca ross this is more on the romance side than fantasy the second one focuses a lot more on the fantasy aspect but this one one is about Winnow and Roman. Winnow and Roman both work at the local newspaper and they are trying to go up against each other to get the same promotion. So they are like workplace rivals. And eventually Winnow decides to quit her job and go off and be a reporter for the war that is going on between the two gods of this world. There's also these magic typewriters involved. So Winnow and Roman both have a magic typewriter and basically they are writing letters back and forth to each other. But Winnow does not know that it is Roman, but Roman knows it's Winnow. And it's like this kind of like pen pal type thing. The romance is so good. I loved this so much. The characters are literally to die for. They're so sweet, so cute. The friendships are literally amazing. I highly, highly highly recommend. Our final YA mention is going to be the Throne of Glass series by Sarah J Mass. This is a little more complex. This is like a little closer to the intermediate side of things in my personal opinion. Honestly, I can't give you any information on this because I think going into it blind is so much better, but just know this is amazing. But there are some mixed opinions on the reading order. This is an eight book series. 
So there is just speculation of where you put this book. This is The Assassin's Blade. This is a novel with five or six novellas in it. And it's like a prequel to this book. So I personally highly recommend reading The Assassin's Blade first. I feel like you just connect to the female MC so much more and you get so much backstory and it literally lines you up perfectly into this book the end of this book starts off right into this book so i feel like reading this one later in the series it really doesn't make sense in my personal opinion there's things that happen in the assassin's blade that are immediately brought up in throne of glass so personally 1000 percent recommend reading assassin's blade first but this series will literally change your life i just finished the eighth and final book in the series yesterday and i also got two tattoos for the series because i literally love it that much so i highly 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 recommend the throne of glass series it's literally amazing but read assassin's blade first all right our last two recs are more adult fantasy so these have a little bit more spice or like a few cuss words a little foul language type of vibes so the very first one is a court of thorns and roses by sarah j mass this is the same author as the throne of glass series this is her more adult fantasy series this one is about Feyre, and basically Feyre lives in poverty and she has to hunt for her meals for her and her family and so one day she goes hunting and she kills a wolf except it's not a wolf it's actually a fairy and when i say fairy it, these are not the types of fairies that you're thinking of it's not no tinkerbell bullshit not tinkerbell these are like big muscular fairies with powers and they're like the lords of the land and stuff like that they're delicious we love them so she accidentally kills a fairy, and so the High Lord of the Spring Court, Tamlin, comes and takes Pharaoh away and says that since you killed my friend, you are basically held captive in my court from now until the end of time. So she goes with him, and it literally just goes from there. It's this series, literally amazing. The first book is probably one of my least favorites in the series. The third book, so good get through this you will love it i promise the last like 150 pages so much happens so much happens but this is so good and i literally love it i am doing my reread of this currently actually i'm halfway through my second time reading the series that's how much i love it so i highly recommend the akatar series if you've never heard of this you've been living under a rock but please give it a chance you will not regret it i promise the final recommendation for today's video is Fourth Wing by Rebecca Yaros. This book literally took the whole world by storm last year. This literally ruled book talk. I don't know what happened, but it literally exploded and you then couldn't get your hands on it for a very long time. So this book is about Violet. She has been trained her whole life to be a scribe, which is basically like the super smart people of this world. Literally six months before they have to like make their decisions on what they're going to do with the rest of their life and like go to training for, her mother, which is like the general, tells her, actually, you're not allowed to be a scribe. You need to be a writer. The writers are basically like the soldiers, the people who go into war. They're called writers because they ride on dragons. And you have to like not really tame a dragon but you have to connect with a dragon and there's all of these like obstacles and training and schooling that you have to go through in the war college to make it and basically you either make it through the classes or you die there's hardly there's not really any other option but the romantic interest in this book let me tell you he's perfection delicious the second book in this series is called iron flame that one isn't as good as this one and then the third book of the series is coming out in january of 2025 so get your hands on this book and read it before the new one comes out next year the second book like i said not quite as good but in my personal opinion the second book was mainly for world building and story building less plot so 
highly recommend this is super super good there is some spicy scenes in here and i literally love this book i definitely will be rereading this this year at some point before the new one comes out next year so highly recommend all right guys those are all of my book recommendations for beginner readers let me know down below if you've read any of these before, if you're going to add them to your TBR. If you're a beginner reader, let me know what kind of books you think sound good from this list. I love all these books so much and I feel like these are just perfect starts for those of you who are just trying to dribble your way into reading. Clearly I have a lot of books and so I feel like these are very solid recommendations for beginners. So with all that being said, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to my face and check out all my socials down below. I hope you enjoyed today's video. I love you all to the moon and Saturn. Have an amazing, wonderful day wherever you are, and I will see you in the next video. Bye, besties.